What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews here. A company called Yakola reached out to me recently to check out some of their tech related products. They focus mainly on desk peripherals with keyboard trays and storage and things like that. And Yakola is not really a brand that I've ever heard of, but they're definitely a budget friendly brand. So we're gonna check out two different products that they sent me today. The first product they sent over is a multi-tiered storage rack for keyboards and mice. And it comes with two color options, black and clear. This is actually great timing for me because as this channel grows, I'm gonna start taking a look at more mice and keyboards and having more storage is gonna be essential for that. And it's also nice because whenever I do those videos, I might be able to show different keyboards and mice that I've reviewed in the past in those videos. One thing I didn't realize is how many keyboards and mice I actually had. So when I was stacking this up and actually putting stuff on there, it was nice to know that I actually have a device that I can store them conveniently that also looks nice. This storage rack is very easy to assemble with only nine screws to secure the shelves to the back plate that holds the mice. And there are only three pieces overall that provide storage for three keyboards and up to four mice. In addition to gaming peripherals, it's also handy to use for office storage with files, notepads, and other office needs. Now, to be transparent, this is a budget option for keyboard and mice storage, and it doesn't have anything necessarily unique compared to other storage options. And I found that it did flex with some of my heavier keyboards, but still overall is pretty sturdy. But coming in around $20 to $25 on Amazon, it does exactly what is expected of it, so you get exactly what you're paying for. And while I don't necessarily think that something built out of acrylic is gonna last a lifetime, I do think it's great for what you get. And I do have links in the description below so you can check out this keyboard storage for yourself and the next product that we're about to take a look at. Speaking of which, Yakola also sent over their tilted keyboard stand and wrist rest. It's also made of acrylic and this tilted keyboard stand allows you to elevate your keyboard for a more comfortable typing experience. It uses rubber feet to prevent the stand from sliding and also comes with a wrist rest that allows you to change the height and angle of your keyboard. I will say that the way that you adjust the height is a little bit gimmicky for me because how you adjust it is just by spinning the wrist pad around and resting the acrylic on a different part of the pad. While this is a bit gimmicky, it actually does what it's supposed to do and it doesn't move, so it actually does work. And with no specific locking points, you can find exactly what works best for you very accurately. An example of this, I prefer a much flatter typing experience, so I keep the wrist rest with the notch facing towards me so that I can have it positioned and angled exactly where I want it. And just like with the last product, this too is also a budget piece. It comes in at $20 and at the time of this video, I can see a 10% coupon on Amazon as well. Well. The main concerns I have with it though are that the wrist padding wearing out over time, but other than that, I do think it's a good pickup for the price. But I would love to know in the comments below what you think of these two products and if you've ever used Jacola stuff before. There's a ton of different storage options and things that you can choose for stuff like this. And it's easy for me to just throw up a review about anything, but after having these products for a couple of days, I actually do quite like them for their use case. Are they my end goal storage stuff? No, definitely not. But I do like them, and if you have a small budget for some type of aesthetically pleasing storage rack, I do think it's a good fit for that regard. I think for the storage rack, I can't decide if I'm going to keep it in the studio to display keyboards and mice, or if I'm gonna take it to my home office where I can put like notepads and pens and office supplies and things like that. I'm a big fan of versatile products that I can change the use of because I like to move things around the studio a lot and having something that can provide a couple of different uses is really nice. But also let me know in the comments, do you like budget product videos? As this channel grows, I plan on reviewing a wide range of different products that some are very expensive, some are very cheap. But at the end of the day, I do wanna make sure that I'm reviewing what you would like to see on this channel. So let me know if this stuff interests you. And also if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and join the Freaky Tech family. I have a goal of hitting 500 subscribers by August and we're well on our way there. So I'd really love to include you in this journey and welcome you to the family. But thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. I'll see you next time.